Yes, hello there. Welcome to Crafters TV, brought to you crafter by Crafters Companion, and it's a masterclass here on this Christmas week. My name's George Aiken, and today it's going to be an exciting day because today we're taking a deeper look at our wonderful, wonderful Gemini machine today, and I'm joined by our wonderful Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello. Merry after Christmas. Yes. Are we? Something like that. <laughs> Something like Something that. Something along them lines. Yeah. I call this. I call this bit of the year Twixmas. I don't know why, but the bit between Christmas Day and New Year's Eve is called Twixmas. Don't ask me why, but it just is. Uh, it's going to be a great day. And let you know this show is pre-recorded, and all the uh, sales and prices and everything that we've got on the show are now available. But at the time of seeing this transmission, they may have sold out. But keep checking the website for more details. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. And while you're there, why not check out the winter sale as well? Well, I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas so far. But like we said, today we are taking a deeper look at the Gemini. Now, Michelle, if anybody does not know, what is the Gemini machine? <clears throat> so the Gemini machine is our wonderful die cutting and embossing machine. Um, but today it's going to be the Gemini Pro. So it's going to be our big daddy, our beast that we're going to have a, a play with, which I'm really looking forward to because this will be my first good play with it. So it's going to be fun. Absolutely. Now, this show's going to be great if you are new to crafting or if you're an experienced crafter, you're going to maybe learn something new along the way with about the Gemini Pro machine. It's a great machine. I'll tell you what, let's take a closer look at it. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12 by 12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure, and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge to edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12, power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. Yes, it's an incredible machine, and it's the Gemini Pro die cutting and embossing machine. It's huge it is the daddy and you can see why look at the sheer size of this it's priced at that incredible price today 404 pounds and 10 pence 449 dollars and 95 cents that's an incredible saving of around 10 20 percent well look at that it's massive now as well with any brand new purchase we don't just give you the gemini pro we're giving you all the tools to go with it you've seen all the plastic plate combinations everything here you're getting the embossing mat you're getting the magnetic shim everything that you need to make something incredible with the gemini pro now as well, don't forget you've got that incredible platinum price. It's an extra 20% off if you're Club Inspire. But if you're looking at that and thinking that's a big machine, then we've got the wonderful family of Geminis. They are a great collection. You've got the original Gemini, the Gemini Junior, and the Gemini Go, all uh, powered by electricity. And then you've got the Gemini Midi, you've got the Gemini Mini. They are all hand-powered, giving that same wonderful pressure that you'd expect from the Gemini Pro. Head to the website, but remember this is a previously recorded show. All the prices are correct at the time. But I tell you what, Michelle, let's take a closer look at this incredible machine. It really is. Um, lots of you are calling it the beast. I know I've um, even heard that some people have drawn their teeth on there, put some googly <laughs> eyes on there. So they literally do have, yeah, a beast at home. So, um, yeah. The Gemini Pro, um, sort of. So the name sort of gives it away. It was sort of um, the thought was, you know, it's a professional machine, so it's for those out there who are batch making cards, who use it for their business, things like that. 
because um, you can fit so much on obviously your 12 by 12 and your 12 by 18 plates in there but um, it's not just for us professionals I mean us just us normal crafters who just like a beast yeah what can I say <laughs> absolutely and it's an incredible machine and you know there's the size of it it's like you said it's the batch making you get to use those bigger dies those more intricate stencils those most intricate things huge dies that go through there and like you said if you're making the batches if you're doing loads of stuff at the same time then this is the machine for you but there is all the plate combinations and I always get confused with the plate combinations Michelle so where let's start at the very very beginning we've got our brand new Gemini Pro what do we do next right so you've got your brand new Gemini Pro and it will come with all these for you so you will get your two 12 by 12 clear in, um, cutting plates so they're your two outside ones you will get your plastic one you will also get your <coughs> magnetic one you will get your metal shim and as you can see on this the edges have been beveled for want yeah. of a better word so there's no none of those sharp edges and I haven't got it on me but you will also get the rubber embossing mat in a 12 by 12 so you've literally got everything that you need to start so um, what I'm going to actually do is so I'm going to show you so this is this is your 12 by 12 so if you compare it with your I don't know if you can see that yeah so different. that is your plate for your normal Gemini yeah and then again so we've got the plate for the uh, junior and then if we if I can do this if I can juggle if I bring this in that wow so that's your 12 by 18 plate wow, that's huge isn't so, it <laughs> yeah. it is massive so it just shows you when you compare them with each other the size of yeah. um, the plates that you get into, the potential that you've got. So think about our triple easel yeah. um, dies. You can fit all of those on there and they'll all go through at once rather than you know having to do them a little bit at a time. So let's just bob that back there. So yeah, so triple easel cards, batch making, 12 by 12 um, box lids, scrapbooking pages, you can... Yeah. Um, die cut straight into those because obviously the 12 by 12 will go through um, perfectly. Absolutely. So we get our machine and we're going to start. So it also comes with the instruction booklet in there it so does. that you know the combinations. Now, I, I've seen you crafters do it every single time. You put this plate with that plate and that goes on top of that, or you don't want that plate with that plate. <laughs> I get, I'm like, yeah, okay. And I pretend to know what I'm talking about. So where would we start? So we just want to do a simple die cut and pass that through the Gemini Pro. What combination of plates are we going to be using? So if you're just die cutting, all you need is your bottom plate. Yep. So you will put your piece of card on yep. and then you will cut, uh, put your die on and then we don't need the metal shim. Yep. So then you will put your magnetic on the top, yep. you will put your plastic and then you will put your outside cutting plate. If you're doing a really intricate die yep. um, or if you're cutting through glitter card, yep. I always put my metal in so that one will go underneath. Um, so your card will go on top of that and you die and then put that on um, for embossing folders yeah so just for your standard embossing folder you've got your outside plate so your embossing folder inside and then just your top so just your two clear plates yeah plates even for a normal embossing folder now for your 3d embossing folder you don't need that thickness no so you will take that one away so you've got your clear at the bottom, your 3D embossing folder, and then you will put your magnetic on top. Never put that on the outside because of the sensors that's in your machine. Yeah. And then your plastic one on top. So when we're putting the plates on there, what are we trying to achieve by putting the plates in there? You know, we see that combination. What is that? What are, why do we need to put the plates on there? What is that going to achieve for us during our Gemini Prime? So um, the plate combination um, obviously differs for the thickness of um, dies and what you're wanting to cut. So it's about getting the right pressure for going through your machine. So you may find that with your machine, um, you don't need as much pressure. So you might fight it's it's the same with everybody's machine it always varies that tiny little bit 
or for your embossing folders, you might like a deeper emboss or not as deep an emboss. Um, <laughs> How so, deep yeah. is your emboss? Your emboss. <laughs> hey, it's a great machine. And do you know what? I think it's great to see them being used and get back to the basics because we use this every single day here on Crafters TV. Every crafter uses their Gemini. And people who, who aren't part of us here at Crafters TV, the professionals use the Gemini because they know what they're getting every single time. That same pressure and that same combination. Now, if you're looking at this and going, oh, this reminds me, I need some more plates. Maybe you've got a little bit extra Christmas spending money. Maybe you've been treated by your other half and you're thinking, do you know what? I'm going to treat myself to some plates. Head to the website. You can see some great deals on there for the plates. Don't forget the winter sale as well online. But I think it's important we take a look at the sheer size of these plates. And I think we should start, do you know what? If we're going to do it, let's do big or go home. We're going to start with a 12 by 18 plate. They are Mahusive, 12 inches by 18 inches. So Michelle, I mean, they are huge. How much could you fit on this one plate? They, they are huge and just brilliant. So I've brought in a few of our, um, just our nesting dies. Yeah. And I thought to give you um, a good idea of how big these are, we're gonna do a little challenge. We're gonna see. <laughs> How much we can fit on. Yeah. Perfect. So. Is, I'm placing bets. I feel like you're taking bets. Oh, yeah, place this. your bets. How um, many dies can we fit on? I'm going, for, I'm going to go for 15. 15. I'm going for 15. Uh, if you are wanting to extend your plate collection, there are a great deal there on screen for you. This is the UK only. It's the uh, Gemini Pro, the 12 by 18 uh, clear cutting plates, which our wonderful Michelle is using. They're priced today at £17.99. That's just the UK only at 10% saving there. And that's the platinum price there, £14.39 extra, 20% off. I mean, I've got a feeling you guys have been spoiled this, uh, this last few days at Christmas. Hope you've had a wonderful Christmas, by the way. This is a pre recorded <laughs> show. All all the prices and all the stocks are correct at the time of recording. Uh, so hopefully, what were we, 27th of December, I'll be getting ready for a panto of that now. Put my makeup on, you know, I don't worry oh, about yeah. makeup in the studio, you know, looking good. So how many have <laughs> we got on so far? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, that's my 15, that's 16, okay. So <laughs> I've just, oh, they're small ones, but they're still, dead. but director Adam just said, that they are the small ones, but I'll allow that because they technically are dies. We didn't say on the size. Well, yeah. <laughs> they are like, is that three packs of nesting dies? We're now opening our fourth pack of nesting dies here to have a look how so. much we've got on here. This is incredible. Um, so, we, yep, we're still going. <laughs> we're still going. I mean, I haven't used some of the giant ones from the set, yeah. but we're still going. But like you said, if you, it's great for the professional card makers, even the, you know, who are professional card makers, because you're going to get so much use out of this machine. And it is a beast. And it's a great investment because it's going to last you. If you look after your machine, it is going to look after you. And you're going to get years and years out of the Gemini Pro. It is such a huge and brilliant machine. And a great price as well. I mean, look at that price today. Absolutely. Are saving 20% on that today? It's a great <laughs> saving that here in the UK and the States. I mean, that platinum price as well. So you've got your 12 by, eight, uh, 12 by 18 plate. You've put your card on. You've put the dies on top. What is next? So I've got... 27. 27. 27 on there. So, um, yeah, so 27. So I'm just going to oh, put we'll that on there. That, so put my magnetic on. Yeah. Then I'm going to put my plastic one on when I find it. Oh, I've lost my plastic shim. Oh. That's all right. <laughs> plastic shim. So you've put the magnetic shim on and is that holding all the dies in place when it that is, is in yeah. there? Perfect. Yeah. That is great. So uh, I'm... Go on, Michelle. Oh. It's attached to the <laughs> plastic. It's attached. I'll let you off. It's Christmas. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So it's because these haven't been used. They haven't been used yet. So they're yeah. so clear that I couldn't see it on the desk in front of me. <laughs> so you've got the 12 by 18, the card, the dies, the magnetic shim, and then another 12 by 18 on top of that. Yeah, Perfect. yeah. And that's I going have. through them. And look at that effortlessly. No pressure, no pushing, nothing oh. at all. And it's, it's quieter yeah. than the Gemini as well. So um, you'll notice this if you've got it or if you get one and, and bring it home, and you will notice um, how much quieter yeah. it does seem to be. And that crunching is a good sound, isn't it? The crunches are great sound. Yeah. Unless it crunches and spits it back out. Right. But um, no, the crunches are great sound. And 
if you was putting something through and it didn't like it, it was too thick, it was too much, it would just stop and it would spit it back out. Um, sometimes it, you know, I know some people have said, oh, it's got stuck, but we've got a button, you just press and hold your, your middle button and then it will spit it back out. So there's never any problem with that. So look, so because I had my magnetic on there, um, you can see it's held all my dies in place, Perfect. none of them have overlapped. But just look how it's cut through. Everything there. Cut look, them all left through. Out, there? No. Perfectly. And I tell you what this is brilliant for. You know those um, photo frames that you get for your walls and they've got lots of different shapes and size yeah. apertures cut out? Oh, that one's... You could, you could use your um, stitched dies, your yeah. these um, to make those. Put all your family photos behind it. Um, and that would, yeah, I never even thought about that. So that's another thing that this yes. is perfect for. And, and I think it's important as well. Yes, it is the, the giant machine, but even the smallest dies there yeah. have been cut out <laughs> to the biggest, to the smallest. And I mean, all so, our yeah, Gemini's so do that. that they do that so good. Look at the size of that from the beast <laughs> as well. It's such a great machine. See, it absolutely is. And it did, it ran through effortlessly. Uh, oh, Oop. I got myself a little start. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you could not do that again if you tried. <laughs> not now. <laughs> so, yeah, so just look at that. That would make, it really would. So this is one of our Centura Pearl A3 yeah. pieces of card. So, yes, yeah, so doing that, obviously, in a more less random order you would ha make them beautiful photos for your walls yeah so yeah so that's your 12 by 18 plate absolutely and again and that's just the same combination every single time to run dies through there absolutely it lovely. it's a great machine and it's at a great price they look at the sheer size there it is humongous there it is massive it's 404 pounds and 10 pence $449.95 cents as well. Look at that platinum price well. Club Inspire, 20% off. There is so much that comes with it. You get all the plates, everything. Embossing rubber mat. We'll show you embossing, how to use that very, very shortly with the Gemini Pro. Don't worry though, if you're looking at that and going, it is big, it might be a bit big for me, don't worry, there's a huge family of Geminis available on the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk, .eu to see the full size. You've got our wonderful, you've got the, uh, the original Gemini here, you've got the Gemini Junior, and you've also got the Gemini Go. Those three are all powered, they're all powered by, um, well, power. And uh, these two here, you've got the Gemini Midi and the Gemi, Gemini Midi Junior, all powered by hand power. Uh, there you are, but again, <laughs> So it's Christmas. If you uh, if you are looking at those and thinking the hand power, surely that's going to be hard. Honestly, you're going to get the same amount of uh, cutting force, the amount, same amount of pressure from the manuals as you would with the power as well. Guys, a great set of deals. Have a look on the website to feel those as well. And don't forget as well, if you're looking at this, going, yeah, new plates are shiny. Don't forget, you can buy all the wonderful plates that you need on the website. If you need more of the plastic shims, maybe you need more magnetic shims, more rubber embossing mats, maybe you need everything else. Even you need that 12 by 18, you've got the Pro, but you haven't got a 12 by 18, then have a look on the website. It's gonna be worth it. It's Christmas, you're allowed to treat yourself, I think so. New Year's coming up, a new year of crafting, you're gonna have to get it ready. You know, what's nothing better than a new year of crafting on a New Year's plastic shim. I think that's well worth it, I do as well. And remember, Club Inspire, you're gonna be getting those points every time you shop with us here at Crafters TV. The more points you have, the bigger the discounts you get. So, but today on our masterclass, we are looking at the Gemini Pro. It's the beast, it's the daddy, it's the pro die cutting and embossing machine. There's so much you can do with this, not just cards, not just scrapbooking, 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 but how about making boxes with those. So, Michelle, how would we even start making a box? Oh, wait, wait, we're doing embossing and stenciling first. Well, I stand yes. corrected. How dare <laughs> I? How dare I get this wrong? We are looking actually embossing and stenciling. So, I'll start again. Michelle, how would one go about <laughs> embossing and stamping with this wonderful machine? <laughs> well, what we do is, um, so what I've got in front of me is these beautiful 12 by 12 stencils that we brought out. Um, and I've got a piece of my Centura Pearl. So obviously it's a stencil, you think you, you know, bob it out of its packet, ink through it, put your texture paste through it, um, 
dozens and dozens of, of different things you can do with it. But I'm just going to cut mine down. Yes. I want an A. No, I want. I've got an A3. I want a 12 by 12 piece. And I'm going to show you how to put it through. And I'm going to show you how to emboss with it. So bear with me one second. I'll just cut this down. Uh, 11, 12. Because I just love. In fact, I tell you what. Oh no, it's um, A3, so it's a little bit shorter um, than 12 on one side, but still doesn't matter. So it's 11 and three quarters. So I'm going to bring. So what we need is our bottom plate. Yeah. And then we're going to put the stencil on there. And then we're going to put our card on there. So I'm going to put the pattern side down because that's the side that I want stenciling. And then, do I have my embossing? I don't. Sorry, just bear with me. I'm looking for ah. Uh, there it is. Was it hiding under the plastic it, shims well, again? Well, it was. So um, I don't have my 12 by 12 ones. So we're going to use the big plates again. I, it doesn't. Act, it doesn't matter at all. It's going to be the same combination. So again, so we've got the clear one at the bottom. Not that you can see it on there, but it's there. Trust me. Then your stencil. And then I'm going to put my card stock facing down. So that's the side that I want embossing. Um, I'm going to put my embossing mat on. Perfect. That goes and on there. And then the plastic one. So if you ever, if you're putting your embossing rubber mat in, if you're putting your embossing rubber mat in, you do not need this. It's one or the other. So we'll put that to the side. So we've got clear at the bottom, then you've got your stencil, then I've got my cardstock on top of it facing down, my uh, rubber mat, this plastic shim, and then I've got my top plate. And we're going to put this through. I love embossing. Do you know what? I think it's one of those underrated skills. And I think it's so, not underrated skills, what's the word I'm looking at? underrated techniques and I think it adds so much to a card and it just doesn't take that much effort to do it no, as well. It's that's so it. good. Absolutely. I do love to emboss. So let's remove all these. So the rubber mat, what is the rubber mat doing when that is on there? So the rubber mat, um, up just by nature of it being um, your rubber mat, will um, it will force the card through your stencil um, because it's got that give and it, it pushes down so if you've not got anything with a bit of, of give a bit of softness in it's not going to push through um, your stencil or the same with your embossing folder that's why it's in that sort of plastic stuff but I don't know if you can see this here mm. but already yeah. before I lift it up you can see there is our how it's Coming embossed how it beautifully so that's just the back of it. So yeah. if I turn that over. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is brilliant. Love that. that. And, then, and then what you could do if you wanted, you could go on with your inks. Yeah. Put, um, put this back over. And you could ink through. And you would, it would enhance the emboss that's already there. Yeah. Um, this would be perfect. I mean, this is a bit bigger than a 12 by 12 at the minute because I didn't cut it down fully. But... Um, you could use these for your scrapbooking pages. Emboss um, your page to start with and then die cut it and then do all your um, scrapbooking that you're doing on it. Um, you could sell these. So um, on our craft stalls and our craft fairs that we do, if you, you know, made your own pack of embossed card, it would, it would just, it would, it would fly off your shell, you, it would. <laughs> it's got that professionalism about it, it hasn't has. it? has. And I don't think people will ever realise that actually that is all done wherever in your craft room with this one machine. You're not, That's you, know, it. There's, you know, people are going to think that you've sat there and bought this card already. You don't need to tell them what you've done, how to do that, especially with the stencil as well and sitting on top of the embossing. It's going to look incredible. And look how good it looks on that pearlescent card. It looks brilliant. I really do think oh, it so. It really does. Um, and these stencils, there's, there's, um, I think we've got six or eight of them, yeah. and they're all beautiful. Do this on your Centura Pearl, 
and you're selling that, even if you sell those for, well, I don't know, whatever, at your craft fairs, you know, to get your pennies towards um, your crafty stash that yeah. we, you know. But that is just, I would have bought that. If I'd have walked by a, a, a stall and seen yeah. that, I would like, Give me that. Give Absolutely. me it all. Absolutely. And guys, there's some great deals with our stencils. We've got eight like that one of Michelle said. There are eight free to have a look at in this collection. Again, all available individually on the website. I mean, look at the start here with the wonderful Falling Hearts. It's the stencil and it's also acting as an embossing folder as well. It is incredible. At that price, you're going to get something incredible out of it. £3.19, $3.98. You're saving yourself 60%. And look at that platinum price. It is incredible. Then we are going to have a great look at the wonderful, this is my favourite, the wood grain. Again, how many times could you use this with other things within your collection? It's always hard, I always think this is harder in crafting for man cards, for, when I say man cards, with a more masculine es uh, essence with them. Wood grain is going to look brilliant on there, and how many times could you use this? And don't think you have to use the full stencil every single time, or the full embossing folder. You can use it whenever you want, and that's what you're going to get with your Gemini Pro. Then we've got the Sketch Squirrel. Squirrel? Not the squirrels. Swirl. Again, a great deal, a great price. £3.19, $3.98. Then we've got our wonderful dots and spots. Again, how many celebrations and birthdays can you use this for every single time? Then we've got natural stone. That looks gorgeous. Then that is perfect, isn't it? Just beautiful. Yeah, it yeah. does look at the bottom of a pool. That it is does. right, producer Aaron. I do like it. And do you know, you could, if you wanted, you could actually sit there and colour these individually, couldn't you? Like each individual tile would look brilliant. If you've got something, if you're a bit bored over Christmas, this is what you know what to do now. That's it. If you've got this already, that's it. Then we've also got the deco tiles as well. A great collection, a great look. Look at that. Love it. And then we've also got the Moroccan tiles. That's beautiful, love that. And then the Chesterfield leather as well. Again, it's a great collection. That's just what our wonderful Michelle has been using. But it is a great deal. All priced at £3.19, $3.98. And that incredible saving of 60%. It's incredible. All usable with the Gemini Pro. It's a masterclass. And today, we are looking at the Gemini Pro. It's our beast of our Geminis. It's huge. It can take your 12 by 12 plates. It can take your 12 by 18 plates. It gives you die cutting. It gives you embossing. There's so much and it's a great deal that you'll see today. But if you are brand new to crafting or maybe you are a relevant expert and need a little bit of refresher of what the Gemini can do for you, take a look at this. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12x12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge to edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionise your crafting experience. Yes, welcome back to Crafters TV. It's a masterclass here, brought to you by Crafters Companion. My name's George Aiken. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. You join us for our holiday editions of uh, Masterclass, previously recorded, and all the prices and all the stocks that we have at this time when it was recorded are correct. Do check our website for the latest deals, crafterscompanion.com. 
www.winterstock.co.uk eu and also check out our winter sale whilst you're there today now this masterclass we are focusing on what we call our beast it's our daddy it's the gemini pro die cutting and embossing machine there it is it is huge now you just on that vt it's not all about paper it takes fabric as well we do have some great dies created just for fabric maybe if you enjoy soft crafting this is going to be great because some of those dies that you see within soft crafting are humongous and the daddy is going to take it every single time gemini pro 404 pounds 10 pence 449 dollars 95 cents it's a great saving around 20 percent and that incredible platinum price as well you're getting an extra 20 percent off if you're in club inspire and your platinum 323 pounds 28 359 dollars 96 cents when you buy the machine you're gonna get all the plates that you see there you're gonna get the plastic shims you're gonna get the magnetic shims you're gonna get the embossing mat you get a couple of those each to allow you to do some brilliant crafting and as well if you're looking at that and thinking well actually George, I do some humongous crafting. We've also got the 12 by 18 uh, plates available in the UK and the States as well. They're huge. To give you the size of them, that is, look at the size of that. It is a beast. It's 12 by 18. It is humongous. It is absolutely massive. Check the website to see the full list of plates that we've got available. And if you're also looking at the Gemini Pro and thinking, well, that's a, that's a big machine for me, George. I need something a little bit smaller in my life. Do not worry, we've got the full family of Geminis available on the website. If you're brand new to us here at Crafters Companion or Crafters TV, we welcome, it's great to have you. This is our brilliant Gemini family. We've got the Gemini, this is the OG, the original Gemini. Then you've got the Gemini Junior and you've got the Gemini Go. Perfect if you go on your holidays in caravans or traveling a lot. This is perfect to slip in your crafting bag and to do your crafting wherever you may be. Or if you're going camping, why not go for the manual machines, the Gemini MIDI, and the Gemini Mini, all done by handle. Guys, they may be small, but you're going to get the exact same power out of those as you would for this. This allows you to do so much more using our bigger dies, bigger stencils, and create something incredible. Our wonderful Michelle is going to show us what she can do next. Michelle, what are you going to do for us So next? what we're going to do next is we're going to make a box, and I'm going to show you how can you make a big good sturdy box on this but what we're going to do so i thought i've just embossed with this so i thought what we will do is we will give it we'll give it a bit of an inking like it should be yeah so i'm just gonna tape that down oh there it is so let's get this taped down and then we'll ink through this and this is going to be our box lid so yeah, but with these, these are such a, an amazing size. Absolutely huge. They're one of the biggest things I've ever seen oh, stencil-wise. They're so cool. Absolutely. And this is this is my favourite. It's very much like we've got an embossing folder. Um, it's like a faux leather one, and everyone absolutely went crazy for that one. And then when it was out of stock, it was literally you could have sold it on the black market. Everyone yeah. wanted it. <laughs> So it's very reminiscent of that. So that's our Chesterfield leather stencil. It that's is. available on the website at the moment as it is pre-recorded. It's a great deal on stencils. So what ink are you using on that one? So then? I've got yeah. my straw bale yeah. and it's my water reactive perfect. one. So these are perfect for just inking through. And as we know, I like my um, inking of edges and inking through my, well, just I like a bit of ink on yeah. everything really. I mean, it is great. It adds so much to it, doesn't it? It adds so it much really to, does. A, to a card. And it's just a simple thing. I always like what they call it, the, when they do it on the edge of the um, cards, you know, around the edge. When it's yes. Just, I love that. It just adds so much to it. It and just it's so adds simple. that. simple. Yes, yeah, such a simple thing. And it just adds that little bit extra um, element to your card, that little bit yeah. extra dimension to it. So as you can see, I'm not inking the whole stencil. No. I'm just inking random bits. Just because. And because you want to. Because <laughs> she wants to. Uh, that large thing, so you can see the price there across the bottom of your screen. Usually priced at £7.99, $9.95. Today, there's a 60% saving, £3.19, $3.98. It's an incredible saving. I know oh, Michelle's going to be buying after the show today. It's a oh, brilliant yes. deal. And guys, it's whilst stocks last. It's pre recorded. All the prices and stocks are correct at the time of recording. So we've put our stent. Oh, I love that! Look at that. So just a bit of it's. I mean, I knew, I knew the straw bale on this colour wouldn't yeah. stand out a lot, but I just wanted that 
Um, bit of a, a shabby, cheekish effect yeah. on there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my scarboard in. Yeah. And this is the box lid side. Yeah. So I'm going to scar at two and a half inches all round my box lid. Perfect. I couldn't think what it was called then. That's <laughs> family stuff. We were talking about this before the show. If I can't remember it, I'd just call it stuff. Stuff. Um, guys, if you are wondering what you're going to do the rest of the day, because there's only an hour of Crafters TV, don't forget, all our shows throughout the year are on YouTube. So sit back and relax and watch all the greatest bits that you love from across Crafters TV. Maybe it's another masterclass. Maybe you want to just have a bit of a laugh and maybe you just want to watch some beautiful crafting. Or maybe you want to try something new. Maybe it's a New Year's resolution this year. Have a look on there. The craft longs. Yeah, why not get involved with the craft alongs? That's a great idea, Adam. Um, get involved with the craft alongs. See what you've got. Maybe you've been treated over Christmas. I, Michelle, I, I know this is pre-recorded, but do you think you'll get some crafting items under the tree this year? Yes, of Absolutely. course. Good stuff. <laughs> if there's not crafting items under my tree, then nobody knows me. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So what I'm going to do is, because, because we can, what you could do, what would be beautiful on these edges is one of our edgeables or one of our yeah. cutting panels but I got these I was I was looking through my stash and I thought oh I'll get a, a cutting edgeable and then I saw these and I thought no I want these on the edges of my box so these um this is my shining star and these are the um liftable um dies that we brought out a little while ago right so I've I not thought seen these before oh have I'm you excited not? to see them oh, you're in, you're in for the treat so I'm just going to place three there and I'm going to, I'm going to tape them down because I don't want them to move. And the good thing about this is um, obviously making a box mm. this size and, and being able to do this kind of thing on the box edges is just, so just have a bit of a play, see yeah. where you want your stars. I'll put a big one there. And maybe you're watching this now thinking, I wish I, I, wish I could have seen this um, before Christmas. Well, guys, you've got enough time now to practice to get yourself ready for Christmas next year. Is it too early to start talking <laughs> about Christmas next year? Maybe it is. I mean, I bet some people out there are already making Christmas cards for next year already. I know oh. some of you will be already making cards for next year, won't you? I know some people have po I know on our um, Facebook pages that we have, mm. lots of, obviously you all post your beautiful makes, but... Um, the sheer amount that some of you, of you have made for Christmas is just, I, I was going to say crazy, but crazy good, not yeah. crazy, but not like, you know, crazy bad. <laughs> <laughs> a good crazy. A good crazy. So, and the good, again, the good thing about this is because it's such a big plate, you can um, be doing more than one side at once. You can just fit so much on there. Yeah. So normal plate combination, so clear plate, um, my card, my dies, plastic shim, metallic, sh uh, not metallic, magnetic, yeah. and then your outside plate Perfect. again. And then run this through. And it just takes it every single time, no pressure. Yeah, I just, mean, it's like, it's like butter. It is, how, do you know, I, I just, let like me say, if you look after it, it is going to look after you, after you, years and years of crafting through this one machine. It's an investment. It is a brilliant investment, and you can see why it's a great investment, because look at this. So these are liftable dies. So what these happens with these? are our liftable dies, and what you do is just go from underneath <coughs> and oh. literally Ooh, I like lift that. them. That's nice. <laughs> so let me just... So there you go. So they make a beautiful um, edge for your boxes. Yeah. But yes, I think someone actually commented the other day on one of our shows, um, how long will my Gemini last? Mm. Um, and I think your Gemini will last as long as you look after it. Yeah. I know I've had my original one since we first brought them out, which was four, five years ago. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not really sure. I can't quite remember. But as long as you're looking after it, yeah. then it's going to last you as long as you look after Absolutely. it. It's like, how long is a piece of string? I think yeah. really, isn't it? Absolutely. It's a great machine and it's such a great size as well. And you're gonna get so many uses out of it. And I mean, you can use it time and time again. 
Don't forget, you can check out the full list of uh, products available on our website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu to find out more about the Geminis and the Gemini Pro. Don't forget as well, when you buy this, within your uh, purchase, you're gonna get a wonderful booklet, and that booklet is gonna explain every single combination and what to do, how to take care of your machine, how to look after it, how to get the best out of the cutting plates. Because I watched this and I still can't remember. I'm only learning now, but I'm going, okay, plastic shim, then we've got the... Uh, <laughs> Magnetic shim? Yeah, so I will go through it again. So yeah. I've, I've got my outside plate at the bottom. Yeah. And for all your dies, your normal plate combination is then your plastic and magnetic and then your outside one again. Um, if you find your machine doesn't need that much... Pr I know some people don't always put, um, you know, them um, magnetic shim in, mm. um, especially for things like just your... Um, just your square, your stitched nesting dies don't need as much pressure. If you're going to do a really intricate die or you're going to be cutting through glitter card, then I would put my metal shim in as well. But it's just a, about having a little play with your machine, seeing what your machine likes. Absolutely. And guys, if you're looking at those plates, you're going, oh, they look clean and crisp. Check the website out, there's great deals on our plates at the moment. If you need more plastic shims, magnetic shims, maybe you need a rubber embossing mat. Don't forget as well, the 12 by 18 plates are available on the website. Like we said, this is a pre-recorded show and all the stocks are correct at the time of recording. But if you want to try something a bit bigger, the 12 by 18 plates are available. They're huge as well. They are, well, the massive are 12 inches by 18 inches. It's humongous, but you can fit so much on there. We, we lost count how many dies we got on there earlier. Yeah. 27 dies that we got round about that yeah 27 dies a lot on a 12 by 18 plate it is incredible so we've got to make our box lid here you've just gone over the scores again with the I scoreboard I did because I've run it through my Gemini um, I've just gone back over my scar lines yeah I'm just going to fold that up gently because of my uh, dies there so yeah I've just re-burnished them because obviously with the pressure of the Gemini it just flattens those, flattens those out a little bit. So I'm just, I'm being really gentle because I've got these um, die cut bits. Mm. So. I love that colour of that again. card. Oh, this card is just beautiful. I love all of our pearlescent card uh, that we do. But I think this one is from our, so the 12 by 12 card pads that we, I think we brought it out with the Ultimate Pro USB. Yeah. So these are absolutely my favourite at the minute. So again, just doing it gently because I've got those liftables there. And these just, uh, they get your pokes up. Let me turn it over for you. Yeah, what's the best way to get these liftables? The just, best? I just, I normally get my pokey tool under yeah. and where it's attached there and there, I will just gently lift with my pokey tool, holding my finger there. And it just gives it, the the little pop that you need yeah. so again i'll do the same at that side lift it and hold it so you don't want to bend and rip but then once you get used to to it just give them a nice little just give them a little a pull and a push <laughs> a pull and a push i love it so. though it's, <laughs> they look great though they are brilliant they, I, I do books. love, we've got a few yeah. uh, with these, this collection, and they're all just adorable. So next with the box, are just cutting into the tabs there at the end? It is, so I'm just cutting into the tabs. So depending on what you've put on your size, yeah. once I close that over, as you can see, um, it's covering it up. So what I'm actually going to do is, so I've took my normal notch out, yeah. and then I'm just going to cut there. So then when I fold that together... As you can see, you can still see through it. Yeah. So, if you've used edgeables of any kind on your box lid, before you glue it, just make sure that you have cut your tabs enough that it's not going to cover up the backs. Perfect. I love it. And it'll still be structurally sound as well. Even if oh, you... absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I'm going to use um, our tacky glue. Yeah. So I've got it in my little um, pin top. Try and not lose the the pin for the change. Mm -hmm. So yes, my pin top applicator. 
It's just normally my pin top thingy that I call it. <laughs> <laughs> but you all know what I mean. They know. They it's do. Like they all know what chunky glue is. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. They do. I mean, it's a great, great me. I mean, I'm looking at this going, it's a great lid. But actually, what we're talking about today is the Gemini Pro machine. And that has allowed you to cut that out without any problems, out any trouble. The stars have been cut out straight away. It is just incredible of what that machine is capable of. But I love this lid, though. I think it looks brilliant. Oh, they do. And that's that's the great thing about this. It gives you the be a, a bit... Oh. I think I've had too much um, eggnog today. Yes. <laughs> it gives you the ability to make these huge boxes with elements on there that you wouldn't normally be able to do. And it makes yeah, your batch making easier. Um, and the same as all our others. It cuts through craft metal, yeah. um, balsa wood, our foam. Yeah, um, the foam and leather, the foam yeah. leather. Yeah. I, um, I know that I've... Um, before I flattened out a Coke yeah. can yeah. and cut through that. With, no issues. Um, yeah. So obviously be careful if you're going to be cutting out your Coke cans because they're a bit vicious. Yes. Get your husband to do it <laughs> like I did. So there we go. So that's our box with those beautiful liftable elements. And I've already made a, my box base. Yes. Yeah. So... Fingers crossed, I remembered to do it on the right side of my um, box maker this time. And I'm not going to have to fight to get it on. So I'm just making sure my edges are glued down. Oh, and I have, look. Oh, oh look. Michelle. This is what we call an Australian box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, styled it out with style. Oh. But... It's but the box great. lid still looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. You could put some fairy lights under there and you've you got a could. Christmas decoration. I'll salvage it for you. Don't worry about that. <laughs> that is our wonderful Australian box uh, available. Every shops. time. Every, Every time. It's fine. <laughs> don't you worry about it. Uh, all made possible with a Gemini Pro die cutting and embossing machine. It's what our masterclass is all about today. It is a beast. It is the pro and it is so useful and versatile for the sheer size of it. You're going to get so much out of it. Remember, it's not just about card. It can do uh, leather, full leather. It can do fabrics. It can do bolster wood. Even do Coca-Cola cans, as our wonderful Michelle said. <laughs> and when you're buying this machine, you're going to get all this here with you as well. You're going to get the plates that you need to create something brilliant. We don't just give you the machine and then you've got to buy everything else separate. No, no, we're giving you that as well. Don't forget, if you want to replace your plates, which you can do, and it is recommended to replace your plates, head to the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk.eu, see a full range of Gemini products available. Also, these are 12 by 12 plates that you'll get when you buy this machine what you can get on the website is 12 by 18 plates they are massive in fact look at the sheer size of it that is a 12 by 18 plate it is humongous how much could you fit onto this plate it's humongous but as well guys don't forget as well this machine is sturdy as well it's got the suction cups under there so it's no, oh, it's not on this way it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to go anywhere because it is sturdy it is Look at that. It's not going to move anywhere. It is. It does weigh a little bit of weight. I will bear that in mind. But guys, what you're getting in there is incredible. Now, if you're looking at that and thinking, well, it's a bit big for me. We've got the full family of Geminis. It's Christmas. They've got together. They're all having a little party over here. It's the family of Geminis. We've got the Gemini, original Gemini. We call it the OG, if you ever wondered. The Gemini Junior. And you've also got the Gemini Go. They're all uh, powered. They are all electric machines. They are all going to give you the same amount of pressure that you would get from a Gemini Pro. Then you've also got the Gemini Midi and you've got the Gemini Mini. These are hand powered, but do not be fooled by its size and by the hand power because you are going to get the incredible pressure and the force that you get from the Pro with the that's the horns, uh, from the manual powered ones as well. So the horn, it just surprised me. That's, that's telling me we need to do another demo. Right, Michelle, let's do our next demo in this show. Is that what, is that, what that was? Like yeah. the, the alarm to wake me back up? Yeah, it's, it's, the, demo, <laughs> it's the demo horn. Um, so what we're going to do now is I have got a piece of card and I've cut it 11 by 11. Um, so we're going to do a side stepper. So I've cut it 11 by 11, so I'll just 
and I've I've scarred eight across eight inches across there. Yep. And then I've gone three, six. So they're three each. So I've gone to three, six, eight and a half, and eleven. So whatever you scar up, you scar down, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me. That's the main thing. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, because if, if you scar, obviously scar that one shorter, it, it's not going to match. So make sure you've got it the right way round. So my smaller stepper is going to be at the front because I need my bigger one at the back. So what I've done is I've brought in one of our edgeables. And this is winter chair. And I am going to just measure. So I've just put my two scar lines there. Yep. I haven't scarred all the way across because it's an edgeable. If I scar all the way across, it's going to put a scar line across my pattern, uh, my words, and that's not what I want. So just, just let me get tap bang. those that's bits it. out, give it a bang. Leanne's not about, so I'm allowed to give it a bang. That's it. She won't, yeah. We won't tell her. You won't no, tell her, don't will tell you? don't tell her. <laughs> you won't, do you know, I just something on the Geminis as well, on the manual Geminis. On the back of them, the uh, safety feature, that's on the back there with the, the, plastic, the, the shutter that comes down. So obviously you've got the opening at the front, but on the back of the machine you've got the plastic shutter and that doesn't open until something's pushed in and then pulled out, it closes straight away and it cannot be opened. Stop anybody putting their fingers yeah, in there and get that's them, it. you know. Little damaged. fingers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So my two little notch marks, I am just lining up with those scar lines and we will just take that down. Let me cut that down a little take that in line so and again so this is something you wouldn't be able to do uh, make a card this big with this edgeable on so plate combination I've got my clear plate on the bottom my card then die and then I'm going to put my plastic shim and my I keep wanting to call it metallic um, magnetic <laughs> so it's up to you I um, I normally do plastic then magnetic you can put plastic you can put magnetic then plastic that's yeah. just a personal preference it still gives you the same um thickness that you will need um but some of you like to put your die on it and then face your die up and put your card on so your die is held in place yeah um but as long as you've got them in there and you're not cutting into your your magnetic one to give you a lovely fridge magnet then you're all right i think it's important when you get the machine that you just play with it to start with isn't it and find oh, what works out for you just have a little play when you get it, as, as with all our um, electronic machines, have a little play when you get it home. Um, just get used to it before you put your best piece of card or paper through and ruin it. Because we all know what it's like when we've ruined that last sheet of beautiful paper that yeah. we've got. <laughs> so I'm just, I've turned mine over because I want to gently ease that off. I don't wow, want to rip that. any of that intricacy. So much detail, look go. at that. There is. So it's just left a few in. Yep. I've cut through, I'm just going to pop them Perfect. out. But this is where our brush, um, I don't, I'm not sure of the official roller name. Brush. Yes, the roller brush that comes with the little foam yeah. comes in perfect here. But uh, I, I like doing this bit, I like weeding the, the die out. Yeah. So I'm just going to give that a little bend and burnish there. In fact, I'm going to go back over it because it's gone through my Gemini and again the power of the Gemini can just squish and that's the official term. Yes. Yeah. Squish. <laughs> squish your lines, your scar lines and you just need to put them back in. So again I'm at five and a half there and there and then I put these ones back in. So this was two and a half. Yeah. Then five, and then I counted another three up to eight. So there we go. So yeah. So I wouldn't normally be able to make a card this big with that die on it um, with my other machines. Mm. So wonderful for this. So just bend them all a little bit at a time, just carefully. I um, love that. There we go. So give those a nice burnish. I just I 
found some lovely card and paper underneath my desk. Yes. Um, so we'll just pop this on. So I'm going on to glitter cards, so I'm mm -hmm. going to use the Kalal. Yep. Um, because the multi-purpose, so, the, so this one mm -hmm. is alcohol-based. Yeah. So when you put that onto something that's coated like a glitter card or a pearlescent, um, it just brings it off, it brings it up. I mean, you'll notice if you love, we'll have all done it, it brings your coating off if it seeps out a little bit. Yeah. But this one, because it's water-based and quick dry, it just does a much better job of sticking and staying on your coated card stops. So my little tip for the day. Perfect. I love that colour combination as well. The glitter and the pink are yes. so well together. Yeah, I love to have a little pop of either the uh, mirror card or I, especially glitter card. And it's yeah. Christmas. Can you have too much? Well, can you have too much glitter and glitz any time of the year? Well, but Christmas is even more so, isn't it? It's Absolutely. It's more of a glittery glitter fest. <laughs> it is. It's a glittery glitter fest. Did everyone just say you can be as, as glittery as a llama over Christmas? You can be as sparkly <laughs> as you want. I thought you were you can be as sparkly <laughs> as a llama. I was like, yeah, if you want, Erin. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. Oh, you were just wondering how, how sparkly a llama is. Well, sparkly. Apparently, apparently yeah. Very so. sparkly. <laughs> Who knows? Erin apparently knows how sparkly llamas are. <laughs> what is she like? Uh, What's she like? <laughs> What's she like? What's she like? We do love her. Uh, we have, we've got about five minutes left, four minutes left of this show. Uh, guys, I, it's been a pleasure to have you today. I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas. We've got so much as well coming up for you over the next few days. I will explain more about that very, very shortly. But don't forget, the Gemini Pro die cutting and embossing machine is what we're on about today. It's a beast of a machine, and I've had so much fun looking at this and exploring it so much. Because I see it over there, and I go... I want to know more about the machine. I want to play with it. And today has been the day. Batch making with this machine. Imagine what you can do if you are, you know, making God time and time again. If you're doing so much with it, this is the incredible machine. Valentine's Day is around the corner. Who's your Valentine's going to be? Mine will be a microwave meal. What? What? <laughs> oh, oh, the Gemini Pro machine, if you're making Valentine's cards, is going to be perfect for you. <laughs> it's going to allow you to create so much with it, and it's an incredible price. £404.10, £449.95, saving yourself over ooh, 20, 10, 20% with that one. And look at that platinum price as well. So extra 20% off if you're Club Inspire. Remember, whatever your Club Inspire status is, you're going to get a discount. Bronze, you get 5%. Silver, you get 10 Gold, you get 15 And platinum, you get 20% off. And if it's your first order with us, you're going to get 20% off. If you are brand new to crafting and you want to try something new and need the tools for the job, then today will be the perfect day to get the Gemini Pro because you're going to get that 20% off if you're a brand new customer with us. So our wonderful Michelle is using those wonderful dies that we used earlier that we cut out. Yeah. And bits of card, I a bit of foam pad. Yeah, fits perfectly Beautiful. there. I've just found a little bit of ribbon. <laughs> I've been really... Um, um, Blue Peterish today, yes. and find it all sorts. And even um, I know some of our American viewers. Um, I wonder. If, I think maybe we've referenced them it enough now yes. that they they know what kids show. Yeah, they used to have things show. pre pre prepared. Yeah, it was a kids show. They did arts and crafts and everything. And what they would do is, here's one I prepared earlier, and they would then bring one. It was very they bring one out and go, here's one I prepared earlier, and that's what they always said. If you YouTube it, there's a very famous scene where they're live on TV, and they have like an elephant in the studio or something. <gasps> they did, and it wheezes on the floor. So just like here in Crafters TV, honestly, you should see what <laughs> our wonderful crafters get up to. That's I'm not joking. me. That, not, not me. Not us, we're <laughs> professionals. Uh, so, I love this card, Michelle. <laughs> Look yeah, at that. So there, just using that huge <coughs> edgeable on there. Yeah. On a nice 12 by 12 base. So Perfect. it just opens up the sizes of the projects that you can use your stuff that you've already got yeah. on. I love it. It's a great machine. It's a Gemini Pro. It's our beast. It's the daddy. Guys, what a brilliant masterclass this has been, taking a deeper look at our Gemini Pro. If you want to find more out about our Geminis, head to YouTube, have a little search, and you can find out even more about our wonderful Gemini family. Check out the website, crafterscompanion.com.co.uk. 
www.ebay.com.au to see the full range of products. Remember, this show is pre-recorded and all the prices and stocks are correct at the time of recording. Michelle, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you as always. Have a wonderful Thank you very much. Christmassy festive break. You too. I'm back tomorrow for another hour of fun with our wonderful Debbie Fisher as we take a deeper look at the Ultimate Pro. Now, as you know, I'm new to crafting this year and I'm learning so much out. So please join me tomorrow for another hour, 12 p.m. in the UK, 7 p.m. in the East, 7 a.m., sorry, should I say, How about the Australian boxers, uh, 7 a.m. for East Coast time. Join myself and Debbie to have a look at the Ultimate Pro. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day here at Crafters TV. Have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you very, very soon. Make sure you check out those baskets. Bye-bye for now.